I'm starting to notice feelings of self-doubt creep up a bit more than normal within myself and it's really upsetting me and my home girls because usually self-doubt flickers for a few minutes hours and even days and then I'm back to feeling confident and believing in myself again but as of late my self-doubt is at its peak when I'm starting to push boundaries when I want to be more and to achieve more and that's the season that I'm in right now. I made an announcement a few weeks ago that I have been working on something amazing that I'm super excited to share with you guys but I kid you not ever since I made that announcement I have been paralyzed with a disease called imposter syndrome. Going back and forth with thoughts like I deserve this, I am worthy, I am good enough to I don't know what I'm doing, I'm not ready and no one cares. As in, I am literally an enemy of my own progress. But I am tired, do you hear me? Tired of doubting myself, feeling like I'm not good enough, like I'm not worthy. And I had to take a pause and think, hold on a minute, do you know who you are? Oh, you've forgotten? It's time to remind yourself that you're that girl. Because I've been doing it all wrong, trying to wait for this self-doubt season to pass or to overcome a natural reaction or feeling that's arising because I'm in my level up season. I am finally accepting my calling and walking into my purpose. But here comes Miss Imposter Syndrome trying to push me back into my box of comfortability and safety so as I am in real time destroying the disease of self-doubt and imposter syndrome I wanted to share with you the steps that I'm taking to remind myself that I'm that girl if you're new, hello. My name is Lorraine and my channel is Lori Lux and I focus on self-improvement, affordable luxury, lifestyle and also a dash of motherhood. If you love all that, I hope that you do subscribe to my channel and join the family. The first step is understanding that self-doubt is attached to an emotion. As people, we are moved and compelled by emotion. If you were to look back at your most fondest memory or even the most horrid memory, it's attached to a specific emotion and for me the emotions that's attached to my self-doubt is fear fear of failure fear is the most action driven emotion out there why do you think that news and propaganda focuses on fear-based content Another reason why I don't watch the news, but that's another story for another day. Once I identified that fear was attached to my self-doubt, I began to see fear for what it actually is. An emotion just like other emotions that have positive connotations like love, joy and gratitude but we tend to give more power to negative emotions like fear or anger and resentment. And the more power that you give something, the more it has the ability to control you or to navigate the route that you decide to take or not to take in your life. So when I was giving power to fear, I was paralyzing myself instead of acting because I was having thoughts like, I'm not good enough and I'm not ready and it's not perfect and I'm going to fail. But how do you practically not give fear power? Because like I said before, it's one of the most action driven emotions. Instead of focusing too much on fear and what you can do to overcome fear or waiting until fear is not there because fear is a natural reaction and natural emotion that's happening because you are trying to do something. You are trying to move outside of your comfort zone. So instead you focus on other emotions that have positive connotations. You give power to the positive emotions. But I had to be very intentional about this. So firstly, I had to identify what these positive emotions were. So love, joy, gratitude, inspiration. And throughout the day, as I'm experiencing these emotions, instead of just letting that moment go and focusing on the next thing, actually enhancing that moment and actually enhancing that feeling and uh, go giving it more power so even though underneath I might still be afraid I might still be scared and having all these self-doubt and imposter syndrome thoughts because I am giving power to 
positive emotion because I'm focusing more on the things that produce these positive emotions. I'm more empowered to act. I'm more empowered to believe in myself, to be more confident in what I'm doing, that I deserve this. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to be successful and make this an intentional daily habit as I'm going through the day. The next step that I took was to ask myself, what have I achieved so far? And this question served to celebrate the small wins that I had achieved because sometimes we have the habit of focusing on what we haven't got or what we haven't achieved yet, that we completely lose sight on the steps that we have taken that has gotten us to this point. So for me, I have been working for months on this thing that I am now too scared and too afraid to announce, right? Doing a lot of behind the scenes work. I had an idea or an epiphany, but for me to execute the idea and that plan they were a lot of things that I didn't know that I was not aware of and that I had never done before that I had to teach myself that I had to research and I had to learn and I did everything and I'm talking everything by myself and that's something to be proud of that's not anything to be minimized or to be undermined especially by my self-doubt especially by this imposter syndrome so effectively what I'm doing is telling my mind and reminding myself that hold on I can do this I have done a, B, C, D. I have spent months on this thing. I have learned how to do this and how to do that. Things that I had never heard of, never done before. So if I can do that, I can do more. I can achieve more. I need to put it out there. I am holding myself back and being an enemy of my progress by holding on to this thing that I know is amazing. So when those feelings of self-doubt and imposter syndrome creep up even more, I use my small wins to shrink them and to check them and remind myself that I did that. All those small wins that I done I did that. The next step that I took was to utilize my support system. I know that I speak a lot about intrinsic growth, but sometimes you need other people to give you an objective perspective and allow you to see other angles or sides to that problem or predicament. Because self-doubt and imposter syndrome come from a subjective standpoint. So that means that those thoughts are not based on facts or reality. They're based on emotion. So when I spoke to my friends and family and I was like, I made a mistake. I don't know what I'm doing. Doing, I'm not good at this. They not only poured love and support into me, which was very uplifting and encouraging, but they gave me fact. They reminded me, you know what you're doing. You're good at what you're doing. You are skilled at what you're doing. You have learned so much. You have implemented so much. You have done so much, but most importantly, you are ready and you deserve this. And hearing these things from other people takes a different meaning and it can be so powerful. So even though I knew all these things and I had all these facts, but hearing somebody else tell me this also validated what I already knew. Even though we shouldn't base our lives, our worth and our values on other people's validation, there is nothing wrong being reminded once in a while what you already know. The next step that I took was removing perfectionism as a barrier. I have a high attention to detail, so much so that I can be quite critical. And in analytical situations, it can actually be a strength. But in most situations, this tends to hold me back because things have to be a certain way. They have to look a certain way. They have to be just right. They have to be perfect. But that's not how life works. Like I mentioned previously, I executed my plan and vision, which meant that I had to learn new things and create new skills so that means that I'm not automatically going to be an expert in those areas but I was using this reason to doubt myself that I'm not good enough or it's not good enough or it doesn't look a certain way but adding that perfectionism barrier 
only enhanced my self-doubt and my imposter syndrome and one day i was talking to my friend natalie and i was saying oh this doesn't look right or this doesn't look like how it's supposed to look and she said to me lorraine done is better than perfect you are holding yourself back based on an unrealistic standard you have plenty of time and opportunity to improve on this in the future but right now done is better than perfect and this really helped me to remove that perfectionism barrier the next step in reminding myself that i'm that girl is doing things that make me feel confident and enhance my self-belief and this might sound a bit shallow but when i look good honey when i have my hair done makeup outfits on point no one can tell me nothing because I am feeling myself and I am my most confident. I could literally be having the worst day. I could be feeling down and sad and unmotivated. If I make an intentional decision to do my hair and makeup and to put in a nice outfit, this takes me from here to here. This instantly uplifts my mood and my spirit, makes me feel confident, makes me feel more self-assured. I don't know what it is about looking good but it definitely makes me feel good so when i'm looking good and feeling good i'm in a much better position to hype myself up and tell myself no you got this sis you can do this because i am vibrating on a much higher frequency than i would have if i was feeling down and sad and upset and depressed sometimes you just need to remind yourself that you're that girl that you have done more that you have more and you can do more than you give yourself credit for and self-doubt and imposter syndrome are a natural reaction when you're trying to push a boundary when you're trying to be more and achieve more so it's up to you to not allow that to stop you from being the person that you want to be or achieving what you want to achieve do me a favor like this video because it really helps me out by getting shared out to more people who hopefully find it just as valuable as you have if you come all this way thank you so much but do not click off from this video without subscribing to my channel and joining the family so you don't out on any upcoming videos and if you want to know the best investments that you can start doing right now that will give you guaranteed results make sure you check out this video i will see you guys in my next video bye lovelies